In this video, we will start with revision exercise 12. And I will do it in two parts. So I'm going to do number 1 and 2 in part 1, and number 3 and 4 and 5 in part 2. Okay, but let's start with number 1. You can do the same. You can first try it on your own. Stop the video and then see, um, do number one, and then again, try number two, stop the video, and then check the video, just as you wish. Okay, I'm going to start with number one. So, A, I'm going to integrate two, oh, and there's a rule for this. And the nice thing, I can see the rule on the next page, I think. Just going to see if I see it. Let's just go to the next page. <clears throat> okay, there's the rule. Do you see? So it's 1 over a lin and then that part um, in brackets, the one in the denominator, plus c. Okay. So it's taking a while to go back. I don't know why it's so slow. Okay. So basically, if I'm going to look at this one, it's just going to be equal to... Okay, the 2 is the constant. Okay, so I multiply with 1 over 4, that's the value in front of x, and then ln and the denominator, 4x minus 1, and then plus c. And that is going to be a half ln 4x minus 1 plus c. And that's going to be number a. Let's do number b. Now, just check that it's the same. They actually just break it up. So now they just give you 7 and 1. And then the same. So 2, and you already integrate it. So you can just go to this step and say a half lin 4x minus 1. No, you're not going to say the plus C now. This was indefinite integration. Now it's definite integration. 7 and 1. Otherwise the C's will just cancel out. So I'm first going to substitute the 7. Okay. And then I'm going to substitute... And that is going to be a half lin. This is 28 minus 1. That is going to be 27. Minus, okay, a half lin. This is 4 minus lin 3. But just read the question. They want it in terms of lin A. <clears throat> so basically, there's two ways. I can either just um, do it like this and say lin 3 to the power 3. I will show you both ways, okay? And then I'm taking it back to the front. So it's going to be 3 over 2. So I'm trying to make my, uh, to create like terms. I forgot the 3 there. Okay, so it's 1 and a half minus a half, and that's just going to be lin 3. That, that's one way, creating like terms. But you could have also, and I want to show you the other way. Please don't do both in the exam. Uh, just choose one. So you could have also said or, just to spare time. Otherwise, it takes too much time. It's, and you can take a half out as a common factor. And then follow also the rules of logs. So this is going to be lin. 27 is going to division. And it's going to be a half uh, lin 9. And that's going to be a half lin. And now this is going to be 3 to the power of 2. And then I bring that and it's a half. Multiply that 2 coming to the front, lin 3. And that's also going to give you lin 3. So just as you wish. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was number 1. Again now, what you can do is you can stop the video and you can first try to do on your own number two. And then again, as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. It's just, otherwise you can watch the video, but you have to come to a point where you try to do it on your own. Because that's the only way 
it's going to go to your long-term memory. Okay, let's just clean this. Okay, then we start. Okay, number two. Uh, I'm starting and I say show that. Okay, so it's this left-hand side equals right-hand side. So it's approving identity. It's usually to help you in the next step. One plus cos 2 theta. One, two, three, one minus a half sec square theta. Okay, I'm going to start with the left hand side and I'm just going to rewrite it first. Okay, now I'm just going to make use of my identities. Now, in this case, um, I'm, I'm trying to create maybe a difference between two square. I think I'm trying or does, but I'm going to go with this identity. Can I just show you quickly that um, um, it's the dou double angle identities. Um, can I maybe write it here? I think so. I'm going to go with cos 2 theta is equal to, just have to move it a little bit, is equal to keep it to green, to 2 cos square, okay, let's see, still my space, square theta minus 1. Okay, but I'm going to substitute it here, and I'm going to substitute it here. So this is going to be then 2 cos square theta minus 1, this, remember it's that one, and now I, I repeat this green, this part, 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Now, in this case, it's not to say this, it's trial and error. Okay, and don't spend too much time wasting on this, because usually they show you what it must derive to, so that if you don't get it correct, you can use A and then still continue with the rest of the question, B. Okay, but in this case, this will cancel out. So I'm going to be sitting with 2 cos square theta minus 1 over 2 cos square theta. Okay, now remember, now I'm going to break it up. I'm trying to get sick. So it's 2 cos square theta over my denominator 2 cos square theta minus 1 over 2 cos square theta. And that is going to be equal to 1 minus, and do you see the half? And if it goes up, sec square theta. And if I check there, then I say it's equal to the right hand side. Okay. And that's how I did number A. Now, let's do number B. Solve that. Okay, now, now you have to always look a little bit critical at the things. Um, so solve, I think this one is still, I think it's starting here. But this, I look, it's exactly the same. Yes, so I can substitute that. So let's start with number B. Um, I'm saying solve, so I'm having a, its equation. So it's 2. Okay, but now I see it's exactly the same thing. Just use another alpha. Okay, over 1 plus cos 2 alpha is equal to 13 plus 5 and alpha. And don't forget that that alpha will go to 0 and will go to y. Okay. Now, in this place, I can substitute now this. So, I'm going to start by saying, okay, 1 minus a half sec squared. I'm just changing the angle. doesn't matter. And that's 13 plus 5 and alpha. Okay. Now, it's, it's almost looking like it must go to a trinomial. So I have to go back to chapter 4. Can you still recall this from chapter 4? You can look in the summary also. That you had sec, I want to make it a bit inner, uh, sec square, doesn't matter, alpha, theta, is equal to 1 plus, let's make it theta now. Okay, 
So I'm going to substitute in here, in yellow. So 1 minus a half, and now I'm going to substitute that. 1 plus tan square alpha. Okay, I can bring everything over already. That is equal to zero. Okay, I'm getting the feeling for the trinomial. So it's one minus a half minus a half tan square of a minus 13 minus 5 and, over, and that's zero. Okay, now let's just get all this out of the way. So I can just simplify all that like terms. So I have minus, and I already tried to write it in the form. Tan squared alpha minus 5 and alpha. Now pressing you, it's actually negative 13 plus 1, so that will be negative 12. And then minus a half, so it's negative 12 and a half. And that's zero. Now I think to, to simplify and to get it positive here, you can basically just go and multiply, divide all the terms by negative a half, negative a half, negative a half, negative a half. And, and by doing that, you are going to end up with tan square alpha plus 10 tan that alpha and then plus 25. Oh, now I see the trinomial so clear. So it's in group A and it's 5 and 5 and 1 and 5 plus 5 is 10 and it's tan and then alpha and then the signs are the same. So I'm ending up with tan alpha plus 5 tan plus 5 equals 0. Okay, so because it's the same, I just work with the 1 tan alpha is equal to negative 5. Now I have to bring this in. So I'm going to construct my cost diagram and I'm already going to block out because it's only up to pi. So I block out this. Now where is tan negative? Tan is negative, they're positive and it's going to be negative here. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, oh no, it's becoming worse. Okay, let's go for the straight line. Okay. Now, can you recall what do we usually do? We first get our basic angle. Now, uh, with what do they set in this case? How many significant figures? If it's three, then I will go to one more, which is four. So let's just go back to the question. Uh, uh, they didn't say. So it's the normal, three, so I will just go to four. Make sure your calculator is on radians. So press on your calculator. Don't press in the negative. That was just for the cost diagram. So shift, tan, and then 5. And my basic angle to four significant figures is going to be 1.373, that angle. But how do I get that alpha? I'm going to say pi, because it's minus that 1.373, and my answer will be 1.77 and that is my final answer B now and I, I'm going to make a split space here to go to C no, I don't like the same color thing flowing in too much okay okay let's see what they ask in C I'm just going to need maybe A and B so I just want to create space here for me for C Okay, in the exams, try to write everything underneath each other, but I think in these days they're giving you a filling in paper now. Okay, so if I look, and I'm, I'm just going to check here. Now, find the exact. Now, before I start there, I want you to check. Don't think it's, it's the same totally. Do you see that there is the difference? There is the difference. That's 2 alpha, that's x. Okay, an X. But I can go from this statement, the beginning of the statement. I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to write something for you. So just check there from A. I'm going to, and I'm going to say it like this. If 
Okay, I think that was in white, so let's keep it to that white. Uh, if, and I'm just going to write it out now, two theta, that's the beginning of number A, one plus cos two theta is equal to one minus a half six squared theta, then uh, cos x over 1 plus cos x, and now check the joints. So it's 1 minus of, do you see this, from here to there it's double, from here to there it's a half. So it's going to be sig squared of half x. Okay, so, so please take note, it's not really so difficult and they like playing around with that. Okay. So now I can start with my sum, and I can say, okay, uh, what was my, it's going to be a half by, I will now check, minus a half by, and then I can say that cos x over 1 plus cos x dx, okay, I just want to see, just go back and then I'll continue, do you see? It's a half to negative a half at that. And I can then go, according to this statement, I can now say, okay, that's the same as a half by minus a half by, and then one minus, luckily I already converted there, so a half, six squared a half x dx. Okay. And that's, that's going to be my first statement. And now I'm just going to integrate. And move it up a little bit. So if I'm going to integrate, I'm going to get x minus, that's the half, it's just my constant. Just keep my pen correct. Okay, and then don't forget, it's multiply 1 divide a half. So it's actually multiply 2, but I'm writing it like that. And then 6 squared, oh, not 6. What does 6 squared become? Integrated, tan. Okay, and then it's going to be tan a half x. And it's going to be a half pi minus a half pi. Okay. And that is going to be x. Now remember this becomes 2 and then it's 2 over 2 so it's actually just becoming 1 and I'm just going to rewrite it first. Tan, it's not necessary, I just don't want somebody to not follow me. Okay, and now I can do my substitution. So in the place I'm going to say a half by minus tan a half and then in brackets with the x, there is the x, then it's a half by, okay, and then it's minus a half, okay, oh, no, 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 always focus on your original, don't, otherwise you get confused, focus there, so it's just going to be minus a half by, minus tan, a half, minus a half by. And then, it's going to be a half by minus tan, do you see, a quarter by plus a half by minus tan, no, okay, yes, tan minus a quarter by. Now, I'm going to explain this one to you in two ways. But first, I, I need a quarter, so I need to gain my special triangles. Isosceles triangle, and then it's going to be 1, 1, square root, ooh, pin, come, uh, come, square root 2, and that's pi over 4, pi over 4, and that's my 90. So tan, a quarter, that's easy, because it's opposite, it's just 1. So, and I'll show you now the other one, and I'll show it in two ways. So, just first start there. So it's going to be minus, and now what is tan a quarter? It's just going to be 1 plus a half by. Okay, now if you think of the cos diagram, 
minus a quarter is just in this direction. It's going to be here. And if you think of the cost, what is tan going to be in this quadrant? So it's still going to be a quarter, but it's just going to be negative. So you can think of it like that. So it's going to be negative one. Or you can think of a graph. If you think of the tan graph, that's another way to think about it. Okay, I just want to take another color. If you think of the tan graph, and I have to extend it a little bit. Now, usually, usually, you know this part. Okay, and usually you know that there the asymptote is at pi over 2. But you also know that it will be, sorry, my curve will go like this. And there will be negative pi over 2. Okay, so that's negative. Now, if I say negative a quarter, now where will negative a quarter be? Okay, it's going to be there. But can you see, it's going to be there at negative 1. Okay, so that's negative pi over 4. Doesn't matter how, if you do it with the cost diagram in a negative direction or whatever, it's going to be negative. But now, okay, let's just see. Um, uh, oh, here is my a mistake. I already see. This negative times this is positive, but this negative was, there's a mistake, a positive. Do you see? And then it will be their negative one. Okay. Clearly I will work it out so I saw that. Okay, so that's a half pi minus one plus a half pi minus one. And that's going to give you a half and a half. It's one full pi minus two. And that is going to be my final solution. I'll continue with the next questions in the next video.